Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. It is Sunday the 3rd of December 2023 and it's a bit of a rainy morning but I'm here at the Bath and West showground for the Toy Fair. I haven't been to this Toy Fair in ages or it seems like absolutely ages so I'm really actually quite excited to go in. I've got a lot of things that I want to get you know bits for projects and that but generally I'm just going to go and have a rummage around and see what I can find. It's actually pretty early. I'm here just after nine o'clock. It doesn't open till 10 30 but I thought I would do the early bird ticket again which is slightly more expensive but it gives you a chance to look around before there's too many people about so that's what i'm going to do let's go and get an early bird ticket and have a hunt
And so I'm back in the car and I have to say that was a really good toy fair. There's an awful lot of stuff there, awful lot of good stalls full of the, the toys and things that I like. And I picked up a couple of really amazing things, things that I'd never seen before, actually, and some you know, choice bits for my collection. So a very enjoyable show. I also met lots of people and a lot of people came up to me uh, talking about the new Toy Ploy Annual, which I will be showing you in a minute and asking me to sign it. So that was also really nice. Let's head on back to Toy Ploy and I'll show you what I got. Right, so I am now back at Toy Polloi, and uh, before I show you all of the toys that I managed to pick up today, I just want to show you a copy of the latest Toy Polloi Annual, which is out now. Uh, and I have to say thank you to everybody who stopped me and asked me to sign the copies that they had uh, picked up online. Uh, it's really nice to see people enjoying the annual, and so pleased to have it in hand. If you want to grab yourself a copy, you can head on over to the uh, Fusion Retro Books website. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, and I have a discount code as well that I can offer you at the moment. If you put the uh, discount code TP, uh, at the checkout you get 20% off your order and uh, if you want to see what it's like I'm going to give you a quick flip through here but check out the video I posted over on Toyploy 2 and you will see more of uh, what's inside this and also while you're there you might as well grab yourself a copy of the Fusion 2024 annual which I've also written stuff uh, in this year so uh, go and grab yourself a copy of that this is full of all sorts of uh, retro goodness and uh, interesting articles about toys and games and computers and all that sort of stuff but uh, yeah check out both of those I'll put a link to where you can get them. Use the discount code at TP to get 20% off your order. Let's go and check out the toys that I picked up at the fair today. We're going to start with a few little things that I picked up today. This I picked up off uh, Julian. I paid £3 for it. Uh, it may look like an action jack, but this is actually a Mac figure, mobile action command from uh, Matchbox. You don't see these particularly often. I certainly don't see them at uh, toy fairs that often. Uh, this is a just a nice little figure to have. He's a little bit dirty and a little bit scruffy around the edges, but I reckon that will clean up quite nicely. I don't have a white version of this figure. They come in a few different colours like orange and yellow, green and blue. I think there may be some other colours, but I don't have a white one. So for £3, he was a really nice thing to pick up. He does come with a hat, but I don't think that is the correct hat. It's too small to go on his head. I'm not quite sure what that is from. But the figure for three pound was well worth grabbing. Then from Lawrence Toy Planet UK, I picked up this Transformer. This is a Generation Two version of uh, Swindle. He is one of the Combaticons, and I've actually got a couple of the other Combaticons from the uh, G2 version of this that uh, form Bruticus, and I thought I would try and finish that figure. So I bought this off uh, Lawrence. He was uh, four pounds in relatively good condition. A few little sort of minor rubs and uh, wear on him. But he's looking really quite nice and you don't see the generation 2 uh, versions of these particularly often or i don't anyway so it was nice to grab that i think i've still got maybe two more to go to uh, finish the that version of uh, bruticus but still a nice thing to have so those were the sort of the little things i picked up then i started to get some bigger items and things that i wasn't expecting to find we'll start with another sort of oddity you don't see these particularly much on my channel and that is a cindy doll and i think this is the ballerina version of cindy uh, and the reason i think that is because it's got lots of uh, mobility the joints are really poseable so she can be posed in all sorts of positions uh, in relatively nice condition i think even the knees still work so yeah you can still bend her knees can you bend her arms Yep, that has a piece of metal inside and uh, sometimes those uh, bendy bits of metal snap. I paid £10 for her. She needs a good clean. I th actually think that's a pretty uh, good price for it. I will have to ask my friend uh, Kathy, Jolly Dolly Shop. She knows all about these things and she'll be able to tell me if that's a, a good price. But I think £10 for that is pretty good. I do intend to give this a clean up and maybe sort out an outfit for her. Uh, but I have another uh, Cindy that's the body on it. It's a bit battered. So maybe I just sort of use the body of this one. And at some point I'll get to uh, re doing the hair on her that's something I've only done a couple of times but I really enjoy doing the the hair so I may do that just for my own enjoyment so that was a good find 10 pounds I think that's pretty good value now we come on to the prize things that I picked up things that I wasn't expecting to see and some of the things that I've never seen before but they are really cool so the first thing was this which is a French uh, Battle of the Planets glider kit never been used so it's the flying collection and this is of uh, Kiop as he is known here in the UK and if I turn it over you can see exactly what it is so it is a sort of a kit that turns into a glider these all look like they're made out of cardboard or thin paper and uh, you have to put it together and 
yeah it turns into some sort of glider i'm imagining there might be something in there as a weight to weight the end of it but that is really cool it's never been used this is a sandy frank uh, film syndication thing so that from this is 1979 you really don't see battle of the planets uh, things that often here in the uk and i'd never expected to see this this again was from uh, lawrence at uh, toy planet uk and i paid 12 pounds for this I'm in two minds as to whether to open it up and actually sort of turn it into a glider. I have a feeling I might do that. Or maybe what I could do is scan these in and print them out onto something else uh, and sort of make my own version of it and save the original. But as this has never been used, that is a really nice and really unique item. And I was very pleased to find it. Next, we have the biggest and the best item I picked up at the Fez Day, which is this. It is a bendy version of Tron made by a company called the Bendy Toy Company. And I have never seen one of these before, let alone seen one sort of mint in package. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. I don't think this has been opened. So none of the foam rubber looks like it's been worn away. All of the uh, wire inside is still very bendable and it is in absolutely mint condition. This is a UK company that I don't really know much about. So it's called the Bendy Toy Company. If we turn it over, you can see there's a little bit more information on the back. It says, uh, made in England by Newfield Limited, Ashford, Middlesex. And it's hygienic, soft, foam rubber i am soft and safe but could be damaged by teething children so there you go there's the logo for the company the bendy toy company and it is really amazing there aren't that many tron toys out there so any sort of tron toy that i've never seen before i do tend to grab and this is just such a unique piece i love the outfit it's got a little bit of detail on it but it's an actual outfit put over a bendy toy so underneath the this is the sort of bendy toy i imagine it'll be in a sort of flesh color and then this is velcroed on the top of him and you can see it's got a nice bit of detail there on the hat yeah it's just an amazing piece i've never seen one of these before again this was on lawrence's stall and he had it for 29 pounds so i just grabbed it i've no idea if that's a good price or not but when you see a toy like this sometimes you've just got to go for it and that, that was what i did today i grabbed it it's just amazing looking this was the highlight of the toy fair for me as soon as i grabbed that like, i don't think i'll find anything better and i didn't this is the top items so, yeah it really is a lovely piece if anyone knows any information about it do get in touch let me know uh, what it is you know is this a good price are they rare i really don't know anything about it so i'm going to have to do a lot of research but if you know about it let me know and there we go those are all the bits that i picked up today some really nice items and as i say it was a really fun show i'd not been to that one for a long time time it's just really nice to actually have a rummage around and see what toys are available and also really nice to uh, chat to people who watch the channel and uh, are sort of excited by the same sort of things that I'm excited by and as I say great to see people who had also picked up the uh, toy ploy annual and if you want to grab yourself a copy of that follow the link in the description and use the discount code to uh, get 20% off your order it's selling fast so if you don't grab it soon there won't be any copies left so if you want it grab it now if you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos.